F1 Manager 23 comes out on early access on the 27th of July, and I, for one, am super hyped and excited to see what it has in store for us. And today, I'm going to give a quick run through as to why I'm so excited for it and why I think this game could be a few steps above of what we expected in terms of the sequel from F1 Manager 22. Now, I'll be honest, when the first announcement came that F1 Manager 23 was coming, and some of the announcements came out and we had that sort of generic uh, list of, of things and new features that were coming. Um, I was a bit disappointed, but having gone through the developers uh, videos on YouTube and their live streams that they've done, um, showing the gameplay and discussing the more in-depth uh, improvements that they're bringing to the game. I, for one, am really excited for what's to come from F1 Manager 23. In terms of what i wanted to come from f1 manager 23 there's a couple of features that are missing um things like maybe putting in your own team like create your own team to go in there um things like an online mode where you can race other people or you can do like an online save much like football manager has the network saves something like that just to sort of you know be able to put your skills against your mates and, and see how it goes but with that being said having looked at the new features and having looked at what's coming, I am quite excited uh, to get my hands on this and, you know, give it a good go and give it a good run. Um, and of course, we'll be doing a series on F1 Manager and trying to win a title with one of the teams um, and basically seeing if we can take them to the World Championship as well as uh, the Constructors Championship. So, yeah, in terms of the features that are coming in, the main ones that they're focusing on are the race moments and replays, pit crew management, race simulation, and driver development um in terms of the things that i'm going to focus on i'm going to focus on more what's going to happen in like your normal bread and butter career mode and the decisions you're going to have to make um of course we haven't really had an f1 manager type game for a very long time um the closest we've ever had is the mods that came in motorsport manager and i used to play those quite a lot so having a game like f1 manager was something that i really enjoyed playing last year um could i have could there have been better implementations of some of the features? Absolutely. But that didn't mean I didn't enjoy it. But with this year, you've got things like pit crew management where you're actually going to have to put a lot more focus on your pit crew and how you manage them and bringing in certain things like obviously like their training schedules and areas of focus because if they don't get things right, obviously it can cost you big time in the race, especially if they make a mistake that costs you three, four, five seconds. And sometimes more than that, if they maybe, you know, uh, are fatigued and can't get a wheel off in time or you know those sort of things are going to come into play um so decision making is going to be a key component when it comes to your pit crew management you've also got your driver development and um, which is obviously going to be huge a huge aspect and i like what they've changed from that because last year it was just like adding points on and adding them into certain areas and i think this year it's going to be better implemented and it's going to be a much more natural way of progressing your drivers. Um, so one key area is obviously your, your morale of your drivers. You've got to keep that up. Otherwise, you will see them make mistakes. Um, you'll also have to look at your facilities. Boosting them will help your driver's morale and it'll also give them boosts in certain ways as well. Um, you'll also won't be adding the points in money, like I mentioned before how they drive and if they drive well will develop them more and you'll see their ratings go up but also as your drivers get older they will be more susceptible to making mistakes and maybe not performing at the highest rate that they wanted to so by them doing that it means that you will have to make more decisions on what the on which drivers are coming in and maybe you'll have to think about bringing in a new up-and-comer sooner than maybe you wanted to so the key example that you'll see in the trailers is Valtteri Bottas. He obviously is in his mid mid 30s, I believe, or coming up to his mid 30s. Maybe in a couple of seasons time, he isn't quite at his peak anymore and he starts making more mistakes. We'll obviously see the likes of Hamilton and Alonso probably get affected by this because they're Hamilton's in his late 30s, Alonso in his early 40s. So we'll probably see something along those lines being affected with them. So yeah, seeing the driver development be a lot more natural, I think, will help the game in terms of its longevity. So yeah, the next key component is the race simulation. The race simulation is actually going to bring more authenticity to the races themselves. 
There's going to be more on track battles. There's going to be more mistakes from drivers. There's going to be AI adjusting to your strategy. Um, so there's going to be all sorts of elements going on at the same time, which are going to make it feel like a more real and authentic F1 race and possibly more immersive in the fact that you'll have to always be on focus on what's going on in the race as well. Because for me, with F1 Manager 22, there was certainly a lot of times where like I was sort of in the middle of nowhere. I was like, there was drivers that were 10 seconds ahead of me and there was drivers that were 20 seconds behind me. So it's kind of like, I know for the next few laps, I'm probably going to be okay where I am. And the pit's not coming for another 10 laps, so I can sort of coast along. But it certainly sounds like from the improvements that they brought in, it's going to be a lot more immersive and there's going to be more things to have to manage during the course of a race. And as well, based on your instructions, if you tell the driver to be more aggressive, they might try to ride the curves more. They might try to take a more aggressive line, be more aggressive when it's jostling with other drivers on track, which could also lead to more mistakes. So you have to manage that balance a little bit more. But that this is the whole reason why I'm a bit more excited for F1 Manager 23 than I thought I was originally going to be. Because I think there's more depth to the initial decisions that you had to make in F1 Manager 22. And by the sounds of it, things seem a little bit more authentic and a little bit more in depth in terms of the decisions that we're going to have to make. Sure, is it disappointing that there isn't an online mode? Yep. Is it disappointing that there isn't a, you know, a, a, a create your own team mode? Yes, but I would expect those probably to come in the next couple of years, maybe next year's when they're pushing for that. And if they do, I'll be excited for F1 Manager 24 when it comes. But yeah, that's why I'm excited. Let me know in the comments, how are you hyped for F1 Manager 23? And obviously keep yourselves focused on this channel at the back end of next week because we will be starting up the career mode series on that. So as always, keep it locked here and I'll see you on the next one.